Hi friends, welcome to the weekly capsule series. So today I'm going to talk to you about how Markowitz modern portfolio theory is different from single index model. Many times people confuse as to what are the ingredients of modern portfolio theory and is single index model similar or different? Where it is the entire premise, the very crux on which these models are based is different. Modern portfolio theory, which was pioneered by Harry Markowitz, talks about total risk, which is measured by sigma or standard deviation. When you take total risk in grosser terms, that is variance, which is the square of sigma. From that, if you reduce the systematic risk, you get the unsystematic risk. Systematic risk is nothing but the square of the beta multiplied by the variance in the market. Very logical because beta itself measures the slope or rather how the or the sensitivity or rather how the stock behaves because of changes in the marketplace. So in squarer terms, if you multiply it and then apply the variance of the market, you're going to get the systematic risk because beta is a measure of systematic risk. Once you reduce the systematic risk from the total risk, you get unsystematic risk. The point to be noted here is unsystematic risk is derived from total risk after reducing systematic risk. If you look at the modern portfolio theory, which was published by or pioneered by Harry Markowitz, single index model does not deal with it in a similar way. As per the single index model, you price the or estimate the systematic risk separately, estimate the unsystematic risk separately, add them up, you arrive at total risk. Systematic risk, however, it is the same in terms of estimation irrespective of the model, be it the modern portfolio theory or be it the single index model. The estimate of systematic risk is the same which is the square of the beta multiplied by variance in the market. But unsystematic risk in case of single index model is basically nothing but you, if you run a regression, you get error terms. If you take the volatility or the standard deviation around the error terms, square them up and take a sum product of the square of the weights and the standard deviation square of the error terms, you arrive at the estimate of unsystematic risk. So single index model therefore prices or estimates the systematic risk separately and the unsystematic risk separately adds them up to arrive at total risk. So there is a fundamental difference in the premise between the two models. If you look at uh, the uh, modern portfolio theory which was pioneered by Harry Markowitz, it's a top down model. It starts with total risk, reduces systematic risk, arrives at unsystematic risk. Whereas single index model is a bottoms up model. It prices or estimates the systematic risk, unsystematic risk separately, adds them together, arrives at total risk. Mind you, for these estimations, we measure risks all in square terms or grosser terms. Hope you found this video is useful. I'm going to put the link or upload this video on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Stay tuned. Cheers.